The solemn hand of sable suited night enwraps the silent earth with mantle drear, thick gathering clouds obscure fair Cynthia's light, nor shines one star the dusky scene to cheer o'er the sad mansion, hid in awful gloom, the thiop darkness spreads her ebon sway, save that alone from yonder studious room the wasting taper sheds a trembling ray now, while the tenants of this sacred dome turn the grave page, or sink to soft repose, along the gothic cloisters let me roam, and, deep in thought, the tedious moments lose. Now breathes the whistling wind a mournful song, and pattering drops the drizzy tempest tell, while echo stalks the gloomy vaults among, sadly responsive to the midnight bell and hark. The staring owl with boding strain shrieks notes of terror from the learned grove ah horrid sounds. Full well ye soothe my pain, full well your music greets despairing love no longer now around the social bully join the festive laugh, or sprightly lay, but poor and ceaseless sighs my lovesick soul till fades the lamp at bright aurora's ray how at the fragrant hour of rising morn would eager transport throb in every vein, to hear the swelling shout and jock and horn invite the hunter to the sport of plain. But, ah, the gay delights of youth are fled, in sighs and tears my fading life I wear, so the pale lily hangs its drooping head, when frost untimely blast the ripening year philosophy, thou guardian of the heart, O oh come in all thy rigid virtue dressed with manly precept ease my killing smart and drive this tyrant from my wounded breast oft with my eyes, disdaining balmy sleep, the awful labors of thy sons explore, fathom with restless toil each maxim deep, and hang incessant o'er the sacred laurel lass, opposed to love how weak, how frail is all the reasoning of the unfeeling sage no forceful arm can o'er his power prevail, no lenient hand the wounds he gives us which, yes, tyrant, yes, thou must retain thy power, till my torn bosom yields to stronger death still must I love, even in that fatal hour, and call on Delia with my latest breath and when all pale my lifeless limbs extent, and fate has sealed the irrevocable doom, may then my memory find a faithful friend, to write those votive numbers on my tomb here rests the youth, who, love and sorrow's slave, gave up his early life to pining care, till worn with woe he sought, in this calm grave, a safe retreat from comfortless despair. So, when the stone lies o'er my clay-cold head, if chance fair Delia to the place draw near, with one sad sigh she may lament me dead, and bathe the senseless marble with a tear.